In the last video, we have scraped the data for our League of Legends Words machine learning project. And now I will show you how to make one training data set from your data and also one data set with your labels. Welcome to the second part. First of all, I want to thank you for all the comments, all the support you gave me from the last episode. And once again, let's make the history. If you want to follow along from this episode, download the code from the last episode. It will be in the GitHub repository in the link bio. But I will recommend you to watch the first episode firstly and then come back to this episode. In this episode, we have the code from the last and also the CSV file with the labeled data. You need this CSV file for this tutorial, so download it from the same github repository i will update the github repository straight after this video and we will be making data frame from this csv file to make the prediction also in the last video we made 2d list of our important data we had scraped before from the league of legends website we will scrape not only the lec but also the other major leaks then we will combine merge this to the list into one input data frame in order to make the training of the machine learning algorithm not even make it easier but just make it possible you can't put here there and it will work to kick things off let's move on to the quick recap we save the url from the website and we scrape the whole html code save it into the object of the beautiful soap then we parse only the important stuff for us we move it to the list and save it correctly combine the list into to the list and run the code in this part i will change this one url to all the urls we have the dictionary the keys are the names of the leaks and urls are the same as from the previous video but there is not only one url but all the leaks in the main function we are calling the scrape data function on the this url we will change it later because this won't work we alter the one url to the dictionary as you saw just copy this from the github also but before that i will define the function define data frame from list here i will put list as the parameter for the data frames we will be using pandas library import pandas spd it is used for the data frames that's all and in this function i will create data frame from the list call the pandas and its function called data frame here i will put the list and in our list we didn't have the names for the columns so i will put the parameter columns is equal to team name generate wins loses game duration and the last was gpm which stands for gold per minute return the data frame and now i will try to alter the main function to make it correct make the code correct to access the keys and the values of the keys from the dictionary you can write for loop for leak comma url in tournaments urls dot items items is the function that allow us to access these elements move this section to the right and right here url and also i will print the result for every leak i did a little mistake here it is items not item and now it should work you see we have the results for every leak but it's still the to the list it's not the data frame we need to call this function this function is returning a data frame i need to store it somewhere i will store it into the key of the dictionary it will have the same name as the key of the dictionary so a leak is equal to data frame from list here i will put the result because it is iterating one by one print the leak another mistake it is not columns but column 
MNS like this, run the code once again, and we print out the to the list and then the data frame. Later in this video, we will merge this data frame into one big data frame, but there are no statistics in which place has the team ended. You see, it, the G2 was first, Medlion second, but when we will merge the data frames, it will mesh up the data and you won't see which team was from which league, in what place did they finish. That's why I need to add one more column to these data frames. It will copy the indexes and add one. We will do it like this, like league. The name of the new column is equal to list comprehension. It will be y plus one for y in in that indexes so in range length of the certain data frame which is named li let me print this out you see there is for example there is this is the chinese li it, it has top esport which was first with index zero and we add one here to the index and make the last column now we have the standing and the alone data frame like here 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 and to merge it we don't know where it is we need to store it together into one list, which will be called data frames, empty list. And for every leak, I will append the name of the leak, which will refer to that object of the data frame. Data frames append leak. I can print out the data frames. You see, we have a list of data frames. They are not merged together just yet. And it's a little bit messy. Merge is similar to concatenate the string the pandas library has a function for this i will store it to the merge data frames and it is pandas that concate the data frames i will ignore the indexes in order to have from 0 to the last element not from 0 to 9 from 0 to 16 and so on ignore index is equal to true print out the merge data frames this allow us to obtain the final input data frame and also we need the data frame for the this labeled data to test if our model will perform or not quickly before doing that i don't want to have this many code in the main function i will define next function merge data frames with input of this dictionary tournament turna main urls and copy the wall main function here little adjustments uh, yeah like this and I return the merged data frames clean this also clean this now we have this we can delete this call the call only the this function this function is calling all these functions and we need to call the merge data frames in the main function. I will store it into the same variable. Not it is not the same variable. This is the local variable, and this is our variable in the main merge data frames. The variable we will call merged data frames. Put here the URLs and print out the merge data frames. Everything is working as previously. Now the last thing. This is the standing from 2022. To, this is our labels for our data. And we need to make data frame also from this CSV file, which stands for comma separated values. Here we do not have the names of the columns. I will define a function for this. Define data frame from CSV. Put here path to this CSV file. I have the CSV file in the same directory. That means I will write leaderboard path is equal to the path of that file dot CSV. Not the path, only the name here. Put the path in that function. Leaderboard will be equal to pandas read CSV the path and I will specify the names of the columns it will be team name there was win rate and the placement overall in the world 
finals win rate and the placement return the leaderboard call it in the main function like the same leaderboard is equal to data frame from csv the path leaderboard and i will i will print out to showcase you that everything is working maybe not <laughs> something is wrong again because there is a leaderboard path not leaderboard ah little mistake here and there run it again and wait for the result here are the input data frame and the labeled data frame in the next episode it will be more funny one we will visualize this data then train the model and and then the magic will happen we will put it out the code and show that we are capable of doing anything i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i trying to make little adjustments in every video just one step one just do one more just do something better and do it every time smash the subscribe button like the video and enjoy the rest of your day peace